food is around us. It is around us all through this time, especially at Christmas. And thank goodness for Nicola Freya giving us some solid, sound advice. Not overindulging, are we, Nicola? No, but it's a time that you're constantly offered food, platters and um, meals out and things like that. So it's worthwhile just keeping in the back of your mind, do, do I really feel like this or am I just eating that because it's being handed to me? I do that yeah. because it's polite. It's polite and you don't like to say no and people have gone to the effort to make something nice. But you've got to have a bit of a plan before you go out of a really nice way to turn something down maybe the second time round. Well, or... Do you have a tip for that? Oh, thank you. I tried it the first time and I'm ah. saving for the meal or, um, yeah. Saving for, uh, actually, saving room for the meal, yeah. that's a good one. Because yeah. that, that's actually not a, a white lie or anything like no, that. It's actually true. It's yeah. true. You don't want to savour it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but as you said, food is all around us and that. So we should be conscious for our family. Um, but also not to miss the day. Isn't it? To be yeah. in the moment, yes. not overindulge yes. before Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah. So I think you really think about it on the day. Think of, make the plan for, for your food for the day. Make sure you have breakfast. I think sometimes people think, oh, we're going to be eating a lot today. Let's just miss breakfast and then, then we um, don't have so many calories on board. But it's really important to start your day with breakfast because then you're not getting somewhere at 11 o'clock in the morning and just grabbing the peanuts and the nuts and the chocolates and things because you're just so sort of starving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do that. Um, if you're taking a plate somewhere, bring something healthy. So at least if all the other options are, are unhealthy, you know you can go to your own plate and grab it. <laughs> yeah. And then if you're the person having having the meal at your place, if people are bringing something, try and plan it like we, we've talked about, a plate serving before. Make sure you have half the platters full of lots of vegetables and fruit and that, that sort of thing, and um, lesser of the meat and the carbohydrate options and that sort of thing as well. So, yeah. Exercise sometimes um, comes second or third or fourth, yes. maybe fifth place. Yes. Around this time. Often on Christmas Day it sort of slips off the list and that's... Uh, uh that's, if, if there's a day to do it, then I guess Christmas Day is it. Um, but you can think about trying to be a little bit active on the day if, if that appeals to you. Uh, because you, you think if you're, if you're sitting around all day, you do tend to feel a bit frumpy and yes. uncomfortable by the end of the day. So um, one thing is if the, kids are, if the kids are having a throw around with the ball or a game of cricket or something, get up and, and play with the kids. Or even um, research shows, and we've talked about it in the, in the office this year, that um, sitting down all day is not good for, for our health. So they recommend that if you're in an office that you get up you know, every hour and have a walk around the office and that sort of thing. So think of that on Christmas Day too. If you're not going to mm. get out and go for a walk and have your exercise, Get up and do those dishes. Get up and chat to someone at the bench and have a have a stand up and a wander around. Just regularly try and sort of stretch your legs, and uh, you'll feel much better at the end of the day for it. Because you did right. Sometimes people go straight from the table to the couch, yeah, and they only get up to get the second course, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then back again. Yeah, that's true, isn't yeah. it? It's a bit yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, you did talk about serving size because yes. that is important because it, uh, that word overindulge. Yes. But it's also good. And, it, and the food looks so beautiful yeah. and you think, oh, special food on this day, we don't want to miss out, so the plate gets piled high. <laughs> but um, go for your vegetables and your salads first. Make sure you get half your plate of that and then only leave a smaller amount of room for the, the potatoes and the meat. Um, that would be one thing. The other thing is listen to your body. If your body's oh, yeah. telling you, look, I think it's time to stop, <laughs> then it out. probably is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, how about sharing about the alcohol? Because... Um, you know, I'm not saying everyone drinks alcohol, but yeah. it does go ahead. Maybe the bubbles to cheer in Christmas Day, yeah. And, yeah. and especially if it's a hot day. Yes, if it's a hot day, because alcohol in itself does tend to dehydrate you mm. a bit. So if it's hot as well, the effects of the alcohol can be sort of extra strong. So make sure you have a, at least a drink of water between each drink. Try and not... Be, just be aware of how much you're drinking and not to overindulge too much. Yeah. And think about the, the calories in the drinks as well, of course, because they do add to the energy for the day and, um, you know, you're not trying to overindulge too much in that area as well. Yeah. And there is low alcohol options now yes. available. Yes. I think in the past we go, ugh, or taste awful. Yeah. But the people, uh, I, mean, I suppose companies have really embraced the whole thing about low yeah, alcohol. they have, they really have. And the other thing is, of course, if you're having a drink with a mixer, make sure you have the diet version of the lemonade or the Coke or whatever mixer yeah, you're having. Yeah, we've covered that quite a lot. It's, yeah. And still people get tripped up about yeah, it. Yeah. Um, just actually sitting and being still with your family 
surely that must be the most important ingredient Absolutely. at the table. And we know that sharing meals together as a family does our health a lot of good as well. So just enjoy the moment and um, really, really have some special time with your family. And if you know someone who's not lucky enough to spend time with their family, invite them along to share it with you. Yes, I heard a lovely story yesterday. There's a lovely couple that we're friends with and there's two people that are on their own and they're bringing them to their Christmas That's dinner. Lovely. Because I know yeah. that it's actually a really hard day for them. That's what Christmas, Christmas is day. about, isn't it? At the end of the day it yeah. is. Yeah. Maybe a couple of brandy snacks. <laughs> yeah. um, a, a recipe tomorrow? A recipe, we've got a Christmas platter. Yes, and uh, so to bring that along to, to the Christmas things that you go to. And I guess the, the big message is, if you overindulge on Christmas day, don't feel terrible about it the next day. Just get up, get, get, have a nice walk, start to eat sensibly. It's really the, what you do the rest of the year that's most important. Not exactly. eating well on Christmas Day, you're not going to suffer a huge weight increase. Thanks but, so much, yeah. Nicola. And no thank worries. you so much for 2015. Thank I'm looking you. forward to next year. Well, I'm sure your nutrition hat is there. Bring us through some of these weeks and with Crater Rim as well. Yes, look Good forward on to you. it. Not a bad bottle to have for Christmas, actually. Crater Rim <laughs> or two. Yeah.